the penance and punishment, I think, for standing up for the faith in these end times would be that we just can't get the sacraments as much as the heretics and the idolaters and the sodomites do. But we know that they're taking the um, they're taking their faith in a heretical way and fashion and spreading it throughout the whole world. And their communions are not valid, especially if they take them from a married deacon or a Eucharistic minister. They're really not valid at all. The, uh, the Spirit of the Lord flees from the host. And also if they're not in a state of grace, if they're not in a state of mind to take it. And I would say 99% of the people in the church are of this quality or lack of quality. We have to do a lot of penances and it's terrifying and it's humbling <laughs> and humiliating to have to stay at home while we see all these heretics and the doors are open wide and the priest can't welcome them in fast enough because their hearts are full of grime. But, you know, God is in control and it's only a matter of time before we look up in the sky and we see that beautiful face coming down in the clouds. 